Munjinga Kambunji winning. And let me make the argument of why this matters. Okay, it's an indoor 60. I know the 60 is not run during the outdoor season. We have a long list of people who have been indoor all-stars that don't materialize outdoors. But I mentioned this earlier. Kambunji's one global individual medal comes in the 200, Gordon, not the 100. So she's going way down in distance, and she's able to win a gold. She's able to beat Ewa Swoboda. She's able to beat the two Americans. But the time is really what caught my attention here. She goes 6.96. That's faster than Shelly Ann Fraser Price ever ran. That's faster than Elaine Thompson Hurrah ever ran as well, too. We look at seven seconds as a very significant barrier. So the fact that she's a really strong 200 meter runner combined with this new 60 PB, I think is a really good sign for her indoors. I want to see it in a hundred. I want to see how it, how it shakes out, but I think she could enter that group of people. Now, if Thompson hurrah is running Thompson Hurrah times from last year and Shelly Ann's running the times that she ran last year, it's going to be tough. But I, I just think if you run that fast indoors and you are more of a 200 runner than a 100 runner, like she's going to have a, a big 100 meter PB on the horizon. I don't want to. I, I, I'm going to also. I, I disagree with you. You keep on bringing up her 200 meter bronze. You look at that race. Dina Asher Smith won that race 21.88. Second place was Brittany Brown, who ran 22.22. Third place was. And Bungie, who ran 22.51 for third. Yeah. She beat Desiree Bryant, Tiana Gaither, Collio, Angie Anellis, and Gina Bass. Like, that 200-meter race is not indicative of the best 200-meter women in the world. There was really only one legit... 200 meter woman in that race, and it was Dean Asher Smith, and she blew away everyone else by like a half a second. So, All right, well then let's just look at last year. Let's look at last year. I don't look at her let's, as a good 200 meter year. runner. She's she's let's her look at her, PB okay. in the 200 is 22.26. We just had six? Abby Steiner run faster than that on an indoor track. So she was sixth at the Olympics in the hundred. Let's just go last year then, because you'll agree people were good last year, right? Yeah, people were good last year. Okay, six six in the hundred, seventh in the two hundred, and now she's running six ninety six. Her hundred meter PB is only ten ninety four. Again, you can't draw a straight line sometimes from sixty to a hundred, but six ninety six is just going to equate to a much better mark than that outdoors. I just think that the women's sprinting landscape has changed dramatically with the, obviously with the two Jamaicans, with uh, Shikari, with the, um, what's her name? Uh, oh, my, someone just rang my doorbell. Hold on. I'll hold that thought. You carry that thought. I just think the 200 meter, uh, I just think the, the depth in the women's world elite sprinting is so good that it's going to take more than running six nine sixties to really for me to step you into that next tier, in my opinion. I gotta go get the doorbell. Right. Hold on. Gordon's going to answer the door. He doesn't think anything was was impressive here. So so far, he thinks Holly winning doesn't matter. Jakob losing doesn't matter. Kambunji winning doesn't matter.